full house. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. There is an ever-growing uh, coalition of nations, if you will, uh, who are part of the Friends of Syria um, that uh, the United States is part of. And uh, together we will uh, continue to enhance the pressure on Assad, uh, continue to uh, help the opposition uh, become more functional, continue to uh, work to uh, bring humanitarian assistance to the Syrian people. The president's principles uh, in, in either case. So what is the president himself doing to encourage the Congress to feel foolish about bipartisan Well, I think uh, it's a reminder of the incredible risks that journalists take. Uh, Marie Colvin, Anthony Shadid, and the French photojournalist uh, who was killed yesterday as well, uh, in order to bring uh, the truth about what's happening in a country like Syria uh, to those of us at home and, and in countries around the world. And uh, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to the families of those journalists. And uh, it's a reminder, too, that the victims uh, are, uh, are many. And uh, overwhelmingly, in this case, they are innocent Syrian civilians. About his firm belief that there are provisions in the tax code that allow some quota. Thanks very much. <laughs> I feel like an unruly class here. Come on, yeah, Andy. And today we're also uh, clearly deeply troubled and saddened by uh, reports that American journalist Marie Colvin and French journalist Remy uh, Ochlik uh, were killed today in homes as a result of the intense shelling, uh, the ongoing intense shelling by the Syrian regime. How does the international community move forward at this point on Syria when you have these two big players who it brings it home in a new way, I would say, uh, that uh, we need to, uh, the international community needs to uh, do more to, uh, to help the, uh, the Syrian people. But again, you know, we're talking about measures that the international community is going to try and take uh, when they meet in Tunis, these friends of Syria. Uh, but let's, you know, squarely put blame back on Assad and his regime who bear responsibility for uh, these deaths and the deaths of thousands of uh, innocent civilians. Global campaign on climate change. Mm -hmm. uh, is the U.S. position consistent with that? The U.S. position on. Um... Is that it? Are you? Oh, is that the question? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.